What's up, MMA fans? It's Tudo Leonte from Sherdog here, and today I'm with PFL lightweight contender Cindy Dandua. Hello, Cindy, and welcome back on Sherdog. How are you? Hello, nice to meet you. Glad to be here. Um, how are you? How are how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling fit. I'm feeling healthy, uh, and I am for sure looking forward to Friday. Um, are you already in the PFL bubble right now? Yes, I'm already here like a, a week now. Yes, about a week. Uh, because we are still locked in uh, for uh, the COVID rules. So uh, I'm training here also, yeah. Um, how, how is life inside the, the bubble? Well, what can you tell us about your... Well, I can, I can tell that I have a very beautiful sight on the ocean and I cannot go there. So that hurts, <laughs> uh, but no, it's okay. Everybody's very kind to us. Uh, we have room to train. Uh, we have a nice Puji room. We have mats and uh, a gym. Uh, we get food and, uh, you know, everything uh, goes as planned. So I, I uh, yeah, I think it's okay. It's good to focus last week. So it's okay. You're not, you're not the first fighter who tells me that there is a nice view from the, you know, from the hotel and, but just a few more days and you will be free, you know, to, to enjoy a swim in yes. the ocean. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. I can go back home to my children. So that's oh. nice. Yes, yes. Actually, I, this is one of the topics I would like to discuss with you. I know that you recently have become a mother again. Is that correct? That's correct. My son is five months old right now. Ooh, really, really young. Um, yeah. You know, how has your life changed after having your fifth child? Is that sixth. correct? Six. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sixth. Well, I, I don't know. It, it didn't. The child, the baby itself, didn't change much because five or six children it's not such a big difference <laughs> and i'm used to it uh i i, I uh, i'm a single mom and uh yeah it is what it is you know so um um i uh but it's been hard to miss him because i had to i left when he was almost four months old uh and that's been really hard uh because i couldn't go home after my last fight uh, we were uh, obliged to stay in the States and I, was, I wasn't I was able to fly him over due to the COVID rules. So uh, I've been missing him for two months now and that's really been really, really hard. Um, I, I mean, were you worried, you know, dur during your pregnancy, given given the whole, uh, the whole COVID-19 situation? Um, no, um, you know, I feel um, because I got I, I saw my doctor and stuff and he said like COVID wasn't really dangerous for babies uh, while during pregnancy so that didn't worry me that much uh, um, and also because um, I I felt blessed that I got pregnant that period because my mom was at that time fighting cancer uh, mm. and um, I had to wish that she could be with me for the birth of my baby uh, that she would still make it and she fought so hard to be. Uh, be present at, at the day my son was born. So that was more a worry of me if she would make it or not. Um, not the COVID situation for my baby that didn't really, that, that wasn't really an, uh, an issue. And uh, how is your mother uh, right now? My mother passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to, to hear. I, I, I didn't understand from, from your words. Did, did she make it though? To... She made it, yes. She was with me uh, when I gave birth, uh, and she stayed with me in the hospital, and uh, um, a little over a month after uh, she passed away. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry to to hear that. Um, I would like also to to ask you how do you balance, you know, your life as a mother and as an ath athlete with uh, six children? It's really hard. It's really hard. It's a struggle every day. Uh, mostly financially, it's a struggle uh, because I still have to work to be able to pay the bills because I'm not getting rich from MMA. So, um, or like I, I, with MMA, I cannot, I cannot uh, survive. So that's uh, that's hard. It's hard. But on the other hand, 
I'm still performing well, you know, and I show my children that if they want something, they can do it. Just they have to go for it, you know. So uh, it's hard, but it's uh, it's really they are motivating me to do better. They're motiv motivating me to show the give the best out of me. Mm, yes, yeah, sure, sure. And um, uh, right now, um, I mean, who is uh, taking care of, of your children right now while you are forced to, to, to stay in the United States? I have good friends and I have a great sister-in-law. Yeah. Uh, um, talking about a little bit about MMA, uh, you dropped a decision to Kathleen Young the last time you fought. Uh, in your opinion, uh, what went wrong uh, that night? In my opinion, nothing went wrong uh, because um, I, I we had a game plan to like uh, catch her punches on my on my uh, to block her punches and go move forward and hunt myself, you know. And that's what I did. I, I went forward. I tried. Uh, I tried to hunt myself. I tried to finish the fight. Uh, but Caitlin has uh, like good footwork and yeah moves. Uh, I didn't have any scratch after the fight, so yeah, the judges didn't see the fight I felt. It is what it is, you know. But uh, no, it's nothing went wrong. I, I felt great that day. Uh, do you feel uh, robbed of, uh, for of a victory? You know, do, do you consider I, I, that? I feel, I feel, I feel. I was the one hunting. I was the one pushing forward. I was the one almost having a submission. I was the one. Uh, who took the fight down not every time successfully and she was the one who like moved and uh, and she was able to stop a lot of my takedowns but in order to win a fight for me you have to try to finish and she didn't try to finish me she just tried to like hit and run I would say <laughs> but yeah uh, you... all every judges um, score different things I guess so, I don't know Sure. Um, you are now scheduled to, to face uh, Kayla Harrison in a few a few days. Uh, do you believe that you will be the one to inflict her her uh, first defeat? I believe that I can win from everybody if it's my day. Um, did you work on uh, something in particular? You know, during your your camp, let, let's call it like this. <laughs> You know what? The thing is, uh, I knew pretty late I would fight Kayla. They only let us know like very close to the fight. So I uh, kept on training, kept on focusing on my normal weaknesses and kept on uh, working on being fit, staying fit, staying there with the right mindset. Um, so that's what I focused on mostly. And then at the end, when I knew it would be Kayla, my uh, my me training partner uh, tried to mimic like, for example, she's a Southpaw, like, fight with me more in Southpaw stance, stuff like that. But um, at the end of the day, I don't want to focus on uh, Kayla too much. I need to focus on me. It's it's my fight. I'm I'm the one fighting. If if I'm going to uh, put away my strengths because, oh, Kayla could respond like this or could respond like that, I, I'm, I'm going to be weaker overall. So I'm just going to do the same as I always do. I'm going to come forward. I'm coming to fight. And... Um, um, and and that's, that's the point. It's it's uh, it doesn't make any sense to like um, change my whole fight style for one person. That doesn't make any sense to me. I will have to do it with what I have in my backpack. Um, there is another topic that I would like to discuss with you, and um, this is a topic that I I talk with most of uh, um, you know women MMA fighters. Uh, in your opinion, you know, how, how is the current situation of women in, uh, in MMA? Things are getting better finally, but they're not equal yet. You know, um, I feel as a, a woman, and for sure for a small country, it's really hard to find good fights and come to a good organization. So I'm really happy PFL has me. Uh, and that's why I told that like after PFL, uh, I don't. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue fighting because I don't want to fight again, like for hundred dollar on a very small card against opponents who are still climbing themselves. That's not fair for them. It's also not fair for me. But I had no choice. I needed to fight. I needed to stay active. So I just took every fight. 
uh, I don't want to do that anymore. It's not fair uh, to my children either because it doesn't. I don't earn any money, but I'm straining every day. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Um, so it's it's really hard uh, um, for for women. But now finally, because PFL uh, puts a lot into that uh, promoting uh, f- uh, the woman lightweights, it, things are getting better, and I see it. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, there is an evolution. You know, so I'm happy because my daughter wants to be a fighter too, and she will not have the same struggles as I. So that's uh, that's nice. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not equal yet. Sorry, uh, if I understood correctly here, are you saying that once your PFL contract is over, you you will uh, you'll stop fighting uh, in in MMA? Yes, I think so. Yes, uh, unless if there is something really good uh, after this, but I don't think so. Um, I hope I will perform well now. That Reisefo wants to keep me a little longer. That would be nice. But if not, I think uh, I'm. Uh, I, I I I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna climb the whole ladder again, fighting on small cars for little money, bringing myself and my kids in problems. Uh, that I'm not gonna do for anymore for sure. Well, um, I hope that your career will last as long as as it needs to. So I wish you to have mm. all the, the, the victories in, in this world. But if this is it, uh, you're one of the pioneers of uh, women MMA in Europe. So yep. thank you for, for all the, the, the work that you put in all these years. Well, you're welcome. I hope the future of the girls in Europe... Uh, have advantage from that. They can use it. But I open some door for them. Would be nice. Uh, before I let you go, uh, you know, we're talking about the um, situation of women in MMA. In your opinion, how can it be improved? Uh, it can be improved with having uh, more female fights uh, over in Europe too. Because uh, Invita is a great woman organization, but they only have fights in uh, in uh, the United States. Uh, one is a wonderful organization. They also have like the lighter division for the females, but we need them in Europe too. And uh, same for uh, PFL. PFL, I love PFL, but there should be lightweight fights in, in Europe too. So if they, if the other organizations, just like UFC, would be able to also go international, there would be more female fights in Europe and there would be more attention to it. And that is what we need, I think. Cindy, thank you very much for your time. Do you have any last message? Well, uh, I want to say uh, thank you to PFL for giving me this opportunity to fight the best in the world. I respect Kayla a lot uh, and uh, I'm going to try to give her the best fight she ever had. And uh, yeah, I hope I can stay in PFL. That's, uh, that's my message. Fingers crossed then and the best of luck uh, with your upcoming fight. Thank you very much once again and hopefully I will hear again from you in the future. Okay, for sure. <laughs> Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.